Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up triple monitors, and the good news is this will also work for single all the way up monitor-wise. We also have a dual monitor setup guide as well, but I figured some people might wanna know if setting up three is any different, so let's go ahead and get right into it and figure out what we need. So of course, the first thing you're going to need is three monitors. So we're actually using some cheaper Acer monitors, and these ones are cheaper because, well, they're older. They're obviously very large. Um, bezel monitors and they're very basic. So for the most part, these monitors are all the same except this one right here actually has DVI and VGA. Now, if you're wondering like, why is there two? Sometimes there's four and that's because you can choose your input. Um, and that's kind of de depending on the PC you have. So that brings me to back here. This computer actually has a graphics card installed. This one has a 1660 Ti installed. And so with this graphics card, all these ports right here are active displays out, meaning we could have up to four monitors. They would have to be DVI, HDMI display port or HDMI, but the good news is they sell adapters. So you're probably wondering, well, these monitors only have VGA, there's no VGA in here. Well, the good news is we can adapt that, no problem. And that brings me over here to the cables that I have selected. So these right here, if you notice, we have HDMI on one end, VGA on the other. We're going to run VGA from the monitor and HDMI to the computer. And that'll work that way because we're basically going from what I like to call a really good signal down to like a dirty signal or a lower quality signal. You can't really do the other way around. If you try to go from HDMI to VGA, so basically like let's say this computer was older and I wanted it to work with the newer monitor, most of the time this won't work because it's not an active adapter. These are really cheap. They're like seven bucks, they're very simple. You're going from analog to digital. It'll do digital to analog because that's basically like downstepping, but it will not go the other way around because you're gonna need an active adapter for that. Those are kind of hit or miss. I don't really recommend using them unless you have to. And so just to recap, we basically are gonna be using two VGA to HDMI cables because on the back of our card, we have exactly two open HDMI ports, but that does leave only a DVI and a display port. So now you might be wondering, well, what about the third monitor? Well, for that one, we're just gonna be using DVI to DVI because one of our monitors luckily has DVI and VGA on it. So th this is really one of the biggest battles, honestly, with triple monitors and dual monitors that a lot of people don't understand is you have to make sure that you got the right adapters. You have to make sure they'll go the right way. Like I said, you can't go from analog to digital, but you can go from digital, digital down to analog. So just make sure that you're doing it the right way. I will have links in the description down below for affiliate links to be able to purchase these adapters. I'll try to find every adapter I can that you could possibly need. Um, so now it's just gonna be pretty simple. We're basically going to plug in the power for all of our monitors. Sometimes they'll use different cables. These just use standard AC power cables. And then we're gonna be plugging in our DVI to DVI, our uh, VGA to HDMI, and then our other VGA to HDMI. And then in theory, as long as you have Windows installed, we should be able to set these monitors up really easily. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so now we have all three monitors plugged in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick recap on what exactly we did here. So I did go ahead and plug in a mouse and keyboard because we will need that to get these fully set up. But as you can see, we have all three monitor connections going into the graphics here. We cannot use these motherboard ports right here. I know there's an HDMI and a VGA and you're like, oh, I could add uh, two more monitors. But the thing is pretty much any modern computer and even most older ones do not support motherboard integrated graphics while you have a graphics card installed like this. So keep that in mind, make sure you just use the graphics card ports and not these, because these will not display out typically. So in theory, we should be able to go ahead and if this PC is on, we should be able to turn it on. We want to turn the computer on before we even mess with the monitors, by the way. Unless you're using a TV, sometimes the TV will not auto turn on. Monitors will pretty much always automatically turn on once they receive the right signal. So we have not turned on any of the monitors. That one just is on because I plugged it in and that's just kind of what it does. Um, but you notice right here, we have the MSI logo. It could pop up on any screen, by the way, because the monitor, um, the computer itself is having to guess which monitor is which. I mean, it just got lucky and I think, oh, look at that. So we got two of them right off the bat. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, we got a cursor, so this is a good sign. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and set up on tripod too so you guys can actually see what's going on. But yeah, we got two monitors working right off the start and it looks like, wow, it actually got them even in the right orientation. You can see here, when I drag my mouse, it actually knows uh, where it is. Sometimes they're gonna be completely backwards and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that and figure all that out. 
Okay, so now we actually have all three monitors working. You can kind of see them on the edge of the camera there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna press identify. This will tell us what number monitor we're looking at. So I'm gonna back up the camera just a little bit and it's probably gonna be a little bit harder to see now, but we're gonna go ahead and get it back in focus. So once again, we're gonna press identify and you can see one, two, three. So that's basically our monitors in order. And so what we can do, let's say that they're out of order. So I'm gonna put them out of order real quick. We're gonna make this two and three. Notice how now my mouse is just absolutely, you're like, whoa, what's happening? I mean, I don't even know how I just got to the center one now, right? So we're gonna press identify again. You'll notice one, two, three, we're out of order here. So we wanna go one, two, three, so that they're physically in order. Press apply and then boom, we can actually take our menus and everything and slide them back and forth. We can do cool things like open up Internet Explorer on one, then we can go ahead and open up another one over here and then slide over here. Look at that, you can multitask now and do all kinds of different things. Now another thing is I'm gonna want the center one to be my main display. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down here. This is also where you can change your resolutions and everything. It'll typically auto put them to the right resolutions. These are 1440 by 900 monitors. And we can also change like if we, you know, if we're let's say have bad eyesight, we want everything to be bigger, we can change the scale. So what I'm gonna do is put make this my main display. And now our number two display, because we have one, two, three, this is our main display, meaning any game and application we open is gonna automatically come up here. This is like our main monitor where all of our stuff is and everything. You can of course still access stuff on the sides and all that, but this one's like where our search bar is gonna be automatically. This is where games and applications, internet browsers will usually automatically open. And so everything else in this menu is pretty basic. We can do things like duplicate displays. This would be like if you want this display to also be the same thing on this one, but we always wanna do extended if we're trying to do workflow and stuff because we wanna be able to use them extended as their own monitor. Now, another thing we can also do is make the display, let's say we wanna put one of these monitors in portrait mode so that it's tall rather than wide. We can do that and just press portrait. And then if it's upside down, you can do portrait flipped. Um, and then other than that, the only other thing you're really doing here is like changing the uh, night light. And there's one other thing I wanna show you guys too. You can also position your monitors. So let's say I have different size monitors. These are all the same, luckily they're all the same height, but if I had different size monitors and one of them was like way up here, I could actually do this. Notice how the mouse now, watch when I drag something over. You notice how it actually goes towards the bottom and the same if I put it above everything, it'll do the opposite. So it'll actually bring things up top. So this thing's really nice to know. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty basic stuff, but it's, it's not very obvious um, for people who don't do stuff like this every day. So it is really nice. And by the way, I know that this monitor right here was not working from the start. And uh, the fix to that actually ended up being my HDMI cable was not plugged in all the way. Um, as soon as I plugged in it actually just, I got lucky and all the monitors were already in order and everything. Like I said, most of the time it doesn't happen. Usually they're out of order. Um, sometimes the resolutions will be wrong. There's all kinds of kind of odds and ends things that can go wrong with them. So to recap everything that we've done here, we have now set up triple monitors and this is exactly how they get set up. It's actually really simple. And we even decided to do it on a budget. So we actually used adapters. All of these except for this guy right here using adapters. This one's using DVI. These two right here are both using HDMI from the computer down to VGA because these are older monitors. As I said in the beginning, you can't really go the other way because these are not active display adapters and even the active ones can be very iffy. I've had them work sometimes in the past, sometimes not, but most of the time people have new enough computers where the monitors are kind of the bottleneck because they, a lot of times monitors still do use VGA and a lot of new computers won't come with VGA. So you may have to get these adapters. Some stores sell them in person as well. So just do some research, um, you know, based on your own use case. But like I said, setting up dual monitors is basically the same thing with one less step. And then setting a single monitor is the same thing minus two steps. And then you can also set up more like this. This display card actually supports up to four monitors natively. You can even buy splitters as well. The splitters are typically for duplicate displays. So let's say I wanted to max this thing out. I did all four displays and I'm like, crap, I want a fifth display to be able to display the same thing on another monitor. Let's say I want like, I had to, I have a big TV above here and I got my four monitors here. Um, I want my big TV to display what's on the main monitor. You can buy an, a splitter that just splits the signal into two. And in that case, this monitor and your big TV would have the same exact image, same everything. Um, they're not gonna be different. You can also buy active splitters where they can actually act as dual monitors. Once again, they're very iffy. Sometimes they don't work properly because it's basically adding a whole nother display out for the graphics card and that can be kind of complicated 
complicated for the card to handle. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, we'd love to be able to answer them. I'm sure there's some people in the tech community that can also help you guys out. And um, other than that, uh, this is a pretty basic video on how to set up triple monitors. We will be doing another video on how to troubleshoot monitors. So let's say you set up your single, your dual, your triple monitors, you're having problems with the display out. We got another video coming for you that'll be basic troubleshooting on that. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.